Well, I absolutely wholeheartedly believe that it's, it's more than a reality, that it is a reality, that if it just hasn't been found yet. I visited the Neert Institute on numerous occasions. I spent quite a bit of time with the people involved in the Neert Institute, which is the institute that discovered the Bay of Cambay, which is a city of India, an underwater city that was discovered some six, seven, probably eight years ago now, because I went to I went to visit Chennai before we actually left with Southern Sun. And in fact, it was that, that city that motivated Hans. He'd often talked about that there would be a city on the Sundarshof and then another one in, in, uh, in India that would be found because that civilization that was originally on the Sundarshof migrated out and established themselves across the world, if you like, in the sense of Egypt and Mesopotamia and ancient China and, and India. And so, I have personally never doubted that. I have always doubted, I mean, we're such little people, we're not a large organisation, we don't have huge funds, why would anybody want to listen to us in the first place, was my attitude. But once I could see that uh, we got our local member for Parliament, who was Parliamentary Secretary for the Prime Minister at the time, he was interested. And once I could see that he was interested, well, okay, Maybe there are others that are interested. When we first went to Indonesia originally in 2005, 2006, they were very close-minded and all of the bodies and organisation that were responsible for um, giving permission for foreign researchers to, to conduct their research in Indonesia were quite close-minded and didn't approach us uh, openly However, just recently we were in Indonesia on a Sundashelf um, civilization or ancient civilization conference and we were invited as guest speakers. And I have to say, you know, I, I insisted to hands that, you know, I, I didn't want to go. I felt it was a, an expense that we couldn't really afford, uh, that they'd be, he'd be preaching to the converted to one another to the speakers who were there. However, he took me kicking and screaming. I went to Indonesia and at the door of the conference, you had to sign in. And so as I was signing in, I was asked, oh, madam, where are you from? When she realized it was me, she stopped the conference and introduced us. And there was this almost, almost overawed moment. I was very humbled, actually. I was incredibly humbled in doing that. I understood that they believed what we had been saying. I understood that they not only believed it, but they agreed with it and they were prepared to put their time and effort into a conference on that subject. And so that again was very exciting to think that we had stimulated an idea or a thought that local communities on different, different levels, I mean, we had the local Islamic college, we have different bodies uh, that are separate from one another and yet they've all come together in this one belief that 12,000 to 16,000 years ago the Sundashelf uh, existed as one continent, it was not an archipelago and that there was a high culture that existed there.